All right, brace yourselves because Turbo Granny is on a whole new level of weird this episode. Opening with a deep philosophical speech about balls. Yeah, Turbo Granny is going off about these mystical golden orbs wrapped in her spiritual energy, practically glowing. She says they are about 5 centimeters in diameter, which is oddly specific. And she's just going on and on while Momo and Okarun are out there scavenging for them. Cut to the field where Momo and Okarun are looking for the balls. And Turbo Granny, now in cat form, is chilling on a bench like a retired mob boss. But surprise, surprise, they can't find them, Turbo Granny drops the bombshell that maybe a yokai took them because these things are filled with life force. Ogarn's like, great, now what? And Momo's response, she basically says, if anyone else has the balls, we are screwed. But Turbo Granny doesn't care one bit. So naturally, Momo and Ogarn storms their little cat form. Because hey, that's how you get the elderly that's to cooperate, right? Back at grandma's, she's like, no luck, don't worry, I'll ask around to see if anyone's got the ball intel. To which Ogarn can't help but think, ball intel? Really? But then she hits him with the reminder that the powers inside him are still dangerous. So yeah, Okarun's life is just one stress ball of yokai insanity. Now, Okarun gets to school, hoping for a normal day. Ha! Fat chance. The minute he walks in, a classmate asks if he's dating Momo. And he's all, no way. Then the guy is like, can you introduce us? She's super cute. This throws the Okarun for a loop. Like, way, she's cute? It's that classic, she's my friend, but oh wait, maybe more. Then things get messy, the guy drops some less than respectful gossip about Momo, and bam, Okarun's alter ego swaggering with Turbo Granny's power emerges, and he practically kneecaps this dude for disrespecting Momo. Like, say that again and she will be that. He snaps back to reality though, leaving his poor classmate crumbled in shock. Okarun's heart rate hasn't even come, when suddenly, yo, Turbo Granny pops out of his backpack. Okarun's freaking out, realizing his day just went from Back to, I might not survive this. He grabs his bag and balls out of the class, shouting in a mix of shock and anger, of all places, why here? Turbo Granny casually mentioned, Seiko said, Cat, you can roam free, you can't do anything anyway. Then Momo enters, and Okarun, still flustered by his recent she's cute realization, can't even look her in the eye. As he tries to walk away, Momo chases after him, and seeing the opportunity, Turbo Granny slips to explore the campus on her own. Meanwhile, Momo's friend catches her up. Apparently, some Someone is spreading some nasty rumors about her. She finds out that Okarun actually stood up for her. Which has her thinking, if he's sticking up for me, why is he avoiding me? Little does she know, he's dealing with feelings, rumors, and oh yeah, Turbo Granny in a backpack. And then we meet Ira. Now Ira is a character. She struts in like she's the queen of everything. Going on about how pretty she is. I mean, this girl thinks she's Boa Hancock. Remember folks, there's only one Boa, but her divine purpose taking down Momo. So she started those rumors about Momo because she once saw demon wings on her back, yeah, logic is optional for Ira. And she's got one of those golden balls in her hand. Whether it's one or both of Okarun's jewels, well, we'll find out. We see Ira with the minions ordering them to gather some necessary items, like a strange book, a cross, and other oddities. Ira's got that serious plotting face and she even briefly mentions a woman in a red dress, pointing out that it's Momo's familiar. Cut to the rooftop where Momo, Okarun, and Turbo Granny are in an awkward team meeting. Momo tries to get Okarun's attention, but he he nervously pretends Turbo Granny is the focus. Momo finally notices Turbo Granny and its instant catfight vibes until Okarun shifts the topic, bringing up the strange woman Turbo Granny saw. Turbo Granny explains she was hunting for the golden ball when she saw that woman. She warns them that if a human gets the golden ball, it could unlock psychic powers, allowing them to see spirits. But if they can see spirits, spirits can see and attack them too. So they decide to search for the ball after school. Back to Ira's save the world plan, she pulls Momo aside and Momo thinking it's just just left our drama agrees to go, but Ira leads her to a creepy abandoned spot, where her friends suddenly grab Momo like it's some bizarre exorcism setup. They pull out a cross and demon banishing book, chanting nonsense. Momo's like, seriously? With a quick move, she throws Ira's friends off, but Ira presses the golden ball to Momo's face like it's holy water. Momo recognizes it, shouting, that's Okarun's family jewels. Ira, of course, insists this is the sacred golden ball. Okarun arrives just in time, realizing Ira isn't some mysterious figure. She's just a clueless girl lost in her own fantasy. But then the real strange woman yokai shows up. She grabs Ira, saying, I've been waiting for you to see me all this time. Now call me mommy like you did before. Okarun, trying to be heroic, leaps in to save Ira, but gets swallowed instead. Ira, freaking out, yells, demon, familiar, monster, let go of me. Hearing this, the yokai sadly swallows Ira too. Then Turbo Granny appears out of nowhere, pulling out a stolen phone to reveal her search results on the yokai, who's known as Acrobatic Silky. Momo's like, 
how do you not know other yokai? Turbo Granny snaps back with a rookie nobodies aren't worth my time. Classic Turbo Granny. The fight's not over. Acrobatic Silky goes full rage mode and starts attacking Momo too, taunting her to apologize, but Momo's like piece of crap. Silky gobbles her up too. But then Turbo Granny, absolute legend, changes the fortune. Inside, Momo's setting the yokais on here on fire. See, Silky's longer head got entangled with Momo when she grabbed her, and swallowing her meant swallowing some of her on here too. In a stroke of luck, Acrobatic Silky spits them all out, and Turbo Granny strikes a victory pose with the lighter. Not gonna lie, Turbo Granny is pretty cool. Momo, fired up, declares rescue successful, time for a counter attack. And bam, that's where episode 6 leaves us hanging. Turbo Granny, Ara, Momo, and Okarun. What a crew. If you enjoyed the chaos, smash that like button and let me know in the comments who won this episode. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remember, there's only one true Boa Hancock.